Microsoft Security Essentials version 1. This is a free anti-malware program. Choose your locale or language and your operating system Windows XP 32-bit, Windows Vista Windows 7 32-bit or Windows Vista Windows 7 64-bit and simply click to download save the file. Now this is a great little program when you've downloaded it you have this on your desktop double click to run now mine will be an upgrade because I've been running the beta version now if you're installing it you will have to pass the Windows validation to install it so you have to have a genuine copy of Windows otherwise you won't be able to install so I will carry through accept the agreement and this will uninstall the beta version and install the full version. In your case, if you don't have the beta, it will install the full version. Now, comparing this with iBit Security 360, they both use about the same resources, but Microsoft Security Essentials will block downloads as it comes across them iBit Security 360 blocks them when you try to run them. So if you download rogue programs, this one will stop them and neutralize them. Now, when you've installed it, you have to restart. This will activate the engine. When you come back, you'll have this little icon in your system tray. On your desktop, you'll have an icon like this. Now double click either one of them to open the user interface. Now real-time protection may be turned off and the computer status is at risk so all you have to do is click turn on and in just a short while this will change to green and your computer will be protected. Now if we go to settings start with scheduled scans run a scheduled scan on my computer uh, Sunday at 2 a.m. is a bit out of time really so I'll change mine to Saturday and I'll make it uh, 6 o'clock in the evening quick scan you have the option for a full scan check for the latest virus and spyware definitions before running a scheduled scan and start the scheduled scan only when my computer is on but not in use you can untick that if you want to but I would leave them both ticked default actions now the default actions are set to recommended action on all four for severe, high alert, medium alert and low level alert. Now I've changed mine to quarantine because I play around with malware. I suggest that you leave yours on the recommended action and you can always query it if you get a prompt of an infection by clicking on more details which I will go into a little bit later so leave it on the recommended action you'll probably find it's better for you real-time protection make sure this box is ticked monitor file and program activity on your computer and scan all downloaded files and attachments now this is important excluded files and locations you can add files USB drives etc to be ignored. You can exclude file types such as JPEG, bitmap, uh, MP3, anything you like really, document files, anything you want to be ignored and you can just add it in there and don't forget when you do this to save the changes excluded processes you can add them as well you simply click add and you browse through your computer your files your folders and add them just pick one out whatever you want click OK and it'll be added under the advanced settings scan archive files this should be ticked scan removable drives if you use external drives USB sticks or any other attachable device then tick this box create a system restore point now 
This will create a restore point before cleaning your computer. It will take a little bit longer, but it's worth it. And allow all users to view the full history results. If you're a computer administrator, you'll probably want to untick this. Uh, if you're a solo user, you can leave it ticked. Microsoft SpyNet. Now, this sends basic information back to Microsoft about malware that's been found and detected. And in some instances, some personal information might be unintentionally sent to Microsoft. So leave it set to basic membership. This information will not be used to identify your contact you. Just leave it at basic, click save changes, and that's it. Now you want to click on updates and see if there are any available. This is one of the first things you do with any security application, and this has updated. So this is the latest version installed. Now, I have downloaded some bits and pieces, and we'll have a look and see what we can come up with. Now this one, Microsoft Security Essentials, has detected one potential threat on my computer. So I just click Clean Computer. And, as you can see, it's cleaned it. Now you can show the details, and you get this on the different levels of alert. And you can then decide whether to clean it or whether to ignore it. The choice is yours. Now it actually neutralized this as it was being downloaded. And it's now found another one which it will go through and remove, which is WinWeb Security. Now I also have iBit Security 360 running. And you'll notice that this didn't actually pick it up. Now this is turned on with the anti-malware protection, real-time protection and DOG protection. And I will save another file and download it. It's cleaned the previous one. Uh, it's now detected yet another one, which is the fake spy guard. A lot of you will be used to seeing these. This is one that Microsoft Security Essentials has not yet classified. So this can be submitted to them to be classified and if necessary added to the definitions database. So if I minimize this window and I have some other malware that I store elsewhere and as you can see as I drag it across the icons change from icons to empty boxes and there's Internet Antivirus Pro, there's Windows Protection Suite, there's Personal Antivirus, Antivirus Plus, Total Security, and so it goes on. There's a load of it, but each one, the icon has gone. It's been neutralized simply by moving it to a protected drive. Now, Microsoft Security Essentials has picked up the five threats. IABIT Security 360 did not pick up anything. Now when you scan with IABIT, it will pick up the threats. It picks it up when you launch the program or you've downloaded it to your desktop. It doesn't catch it as it's downloading. Now this has found 15 threats, Smart Protector, Security Center, etc. Registry data, keys, files, folders. So I'll just click remove and get rid of those. Now click finish and come out of this one. If I go back to Microsoft Security Essentials and click clean computer, it takes a little while whilst it runs through as they all do. And as you can see there's a Zbot, fake Vimes, Internet Antivirus, fake plus and so on. But it's being cleaned off. For those of you that knock Windows, this is actually a very good program from Microsoft and my money goes on this one it's a top-notch program if you want any more information check out my blog which is free PC security and you can find it at freepcsecurity.co